Hi, and welcome to Helen Ponton's VA Disability Blog. I'm Natalia Joffrey, our firm's uh, manager. And I'm attorney Rachel Cheek. So we're going to be talking today some more about um, diabetic neuropathy. We talked a little bit about it in our last video blog, told you basically um, what it is, how it affects people, and what you should do if you suspect that you have diabetic neuropathy. And obviously, getting it documented mm -hmm. is key. Um, complaining a lot to your doctors when you go and see them and making sure that this is documented in your medical records is really, really important. So once you've done that, mm -hmm. now what would you need to do in order to get a rating? So um, after you get that documented with your doctor, you have your diagnosis, you're going to file a claim. Um, file a claim for diabetic neuropathy, secondary to diabetes. Mm -hmm. Once your claim is put in, um, the VA will schedule you for a CMP examination. Mm -hmm. And so the way that neuropathy is rated is it's based upon the nerve that's affected. You have, um, and it depends on from extremity to extremity. Right. So for example, in your leg, you have three main nerves that can be affected mm -hmm. um, with, with neuropathy. And so what is done is you'll go to the exam um, and the doctor will be able to measure your symptoms. Um, it's, it's not... I wouldn't call it precise. Uh -huh. I believe the VA um, categories are mild, moderate, severe. Okay. Um, and it's it's rated upon um, how much that you can use your um, the extremities, basically. How much can you feel? Um, is, is your nerve completely paralyzed? Mm -hmm. In that case, you obviously would get the higher rating. Right. Um, your nerve can, the nerve can be affected to the point where it's only, you know, moderate or mild, mm -hmm. in which case you would have a lower rating. So it's very subjective, right? Yes. So it, go ahead. it no, really depends on kind of, it all kind of hinges on um, that examination. So it's very important if you are in um, a CMP examination for this, mm -hmm. that you are very clear about the symptoms that you're experiencing. Um, you need to describe every single symptom. Like we said, um, right. the feelings can vary from burning mm -hmm. to numbness, to pain, to tingling. You need to be very clear with your doctor to let them know, or the examiner, excuse me, to let them know so they can properly document this. So this is not one of those suck it up buttercup kind of moments. This not is, at all. <laughs> this is when you're supposed to complain and talk about yes. what you're feeling. Ouch, that really hurts. Or no, I don't feel that. Mm -hmm. Or I feel a burning sensation right now. Or whatever it is that you're feeling. Or if you don't feel anything at all. I mean, Gosh, that's really significant, right? Because you're Absolutely. saying that it can even be paralyzing. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. that's pretty severe. Um, and I know that often our veterans struggle with this because mm -hmm. they're used to not complaining or being very prideful and not really want to talk about their pain or their symptoms. And the CMP exam is not the time to do that. No, complete open honesty. Um, don't worry about you know, yeah, looking tough. <laughs> One of the things that I read that I love is that the CMP exam begins from the moment you walk in the door. And so um, in this article, they were talking about how this is not like from the moment when they're saying, hey, how are you doing? They're not being polite. They're not being kind. They don't really, you know, this is not a, this is not a, a cordial moment. Absolutely. If you're not doing well, you need to start from that point forward where you say, I'm hurting mm -hmm. or whatever it is that's going on with you that day. If you're really not well, mm -hmm. that's Absolutely. the time to start talking about it. You put it perfectly. Yeah. It's not a time to what be What hurts and where, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Did you have anything else to add about that in terms of um, the rating with the severity or anything else? Um, just how we discussed it. It really is subjective. Important to be honest. Um, and the, the rating can depend on which extremity is affected. Um, but primarily, it really is based off of your symptoms. Okay. And you need to be clear with the doctor and let them know exactly what's going on. Okay, great. Well, we're going to keep talking about some more um, VA disability information. So please continue to join us. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, Questions, please feel free to visit our website or call our office. Thank you.